and I got talking with some of the students who were interested in OBGYN and some of the faculty and learned really just how much surgery you do and kind of the uh, scope and breadth of patients that you can care for. First prenatal care visit, there's a lot to do. Um, so obviously most patients have had a missed period or have concern for pregnancy based on pregnancy symptoms and then oftentimes have taken a home urine pregnancy test and so there can be a lot of really strong emotions at that visit. Usually the first thing that we do at the visit is to confirm uh, uh, several important things about the pregnancy via ultrasound. And then after that, there's a lot of information that we go over um, with regard to regular labs, what prenatal care looks like. We offer a lot of genetic screening in pregnancy, especially in early pregnancy. So we have a lot of conversations about genetic screening for mom and dad and genetic screening for the baby. We get to build a really um, sort of uh, in-depth and thorough relationship with them and get to see them progress through all the different stages, which is something I really love about prenatal care. I see patients across the, kind of the whole spectrum of their reproductive um, life from as early as age 14, when a lot of patients have recently gone through puberty or maybe starting to get their periods for the first time, experiencing irregular periods or just menstrual cramps, primary dysmenorrhea, which is painful periods, all the way through you know um, uh, postmenopausal care into the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s even. Um, and so you know, reproductive and gynecologic care really varies depending on what stage of your life you're in, um, but there is routine care that does need to be done at all of those different stages. I do have some areas of interest within um, uh, gynecology in particular that I'm trying to sort of make a niche for myself in, um, one of which is caring for trans and gender non-conforming patients. Um, so any person with a uterus and ovaries and cervix um, does need routine gynecologic care, and those patients don't always identify as women. And so I work one uh, half day a month at the LGBTQ Center at the Lakewood Family Health Center where I care for trans and gender non-conforming patients as well as any patients who kind of identify in that LGBTQIA um, plus community, um, which has been really uh, a privilege and an honor over the last year to get to know them and work with them further. My goal in medicine isn't to tell you what to do or what not to do, it's to give you the information that you need to make whatever decision you feel is best for your health. I really want it to be a partnership, not sort of a, a lectureship. Um, so um, when you come in to see me in the office, know that I'm gonna ask you as many questions as you're probably gonna ask me, and that my goal is for our visit together to be a conversation, not, um, not a lecture.